happiness and success. So these are two things that I've been thinking about quite a bit. And I think that as a high achiever myself, and many of you watching this are, are very uh, ambitious people, very, very high achieving people, um, you often get the two confused. And perhaps I know for a fact that I did thought that happiness was a function of success and only success. Now, I think that happiness and success, and I'm going to bring a third one to this, and that's fulfillment. I think those three, three things are definitely very much dependent upon each other, but they are individual, they're isolated things, and they need to be treated as such. I think fulfillment is feeling at peace with what you're doing. I think it's knowing that you don't have any existential angst, knowing that the work that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is giving you meaning, okay? Um, but let's put that one to the side. Um, I think happiness and I think success are two of these ideas where we think that you know, if we're not successful, then we can't be happy. And in fact, that is really far from the truth. And I think that not only can we be happy for us to be successful, but it's necessary. It's necessary for us to be happy um, so that we are successful. I think that too many of us maybe don't have a weight loss goal. Maybe we're not getting to our financial goals. Maybe we're not getting to a certain position uh, in our careers. Maybe we're not doing as well as we should be, you know, in, in university or in school. And we think that, okay, well, there is no nobility in me being happy despite me coming up short. But actually, the thing is, it's actually necessary for you to make that conscious choice to be grateful for the things that you have for you to feel okay with where you're at, for you to have self-love, for you to do the things that are necessary for you to be happy, right? I think it's necessary for you to do all those things and feel, feel all those things and be all those things so that you're in a constant state of excitement for life, right? And it's not the state of euphoria. It's not the state of like, like, like pure childlike bliss that you're like on a playground or maybe you're in a club and you're, you're really drunk or, 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 you know, using drugs or something like that. It's not that kind of euphoria, but instead it's more of this like, you know, grounded sense of enthusiasm for life. Right. And I think that when you're, when you're happy, you're going to have that grounded sense of enthusiasm for life. And this is what's going to keep you going. This is what's going to keep you ha wanting more. I think too many of us who are very success oriented are too afraid. We're too afraid to allow ourselves to be happy when we're coming short of our goals. But the problem with that is one of two things, really. It's multiple things. The first is that one, we're not going to be excited about life. And eventually we're just going to say, screw it. I don't want to do this anymore. And the second thing is, is that if we don't make that choice to be happy, when we do hit our goals, when we do become successful, we're not going to be able to celebrate them. We're not going to actually be able to be joyous over these things. And when we're not joyous over the things that we succeed in, well, it's going to be very hard to replicate success because success isn't going to do anything for you internally, right? Because you're choosing to not allow success to do anything internally for you. So it's an idea that I've been playing with uh, really is that I want to make that conscious choice to be happy no matter whether I'm successful or not. And the irony is, is that when I make that choice, my success goes up. All right, guys, so so be happy and be successful. Remember that those two things are, are, are uh, very dependent on each other, but you need to consciously choose to take the actions to be successful. You need to consciously choose to take the actions and have the thoughts and make the choice to be happy.